Indian Spartans do know that Hollywood movie 300 Spartan a few soldiers fight against Persian god King Xerxes huge army. Does anyone know if this type of battle happens in India? I will say yes. This type of battle fight between Sher Shah Zuri and Rajputs. In 1543, Sher Shah set out war against Marwar with a huge force of 80,000 cavalry. With an army of 50,000, Maldeo advanced to face Sher Shah's army. Instead of marching to the enemy's capital Sher Shah halted in the village of Samal in the Pargana of Jaitaran, 90 kilometers east of Jodhpur. After one month of skirmishing, Sher Shah's position became critical owing to the difficulties of food supplies for his huge army. To resolve this situation, Sher Shah resorted to a cunning ploy. One evening, he dropped forged letters near Maldeo's camp in such a way that they were sure to be intercepted. These letters indicated, falsely, that some of Maldeo's army commanders were promising assistance to Sher Shah. This caused great consternation to Maldeo, who immediately, and wrongly, suspected his commanders of disloyalty. Raya came back and put on his royal dress, tied his swords, and without asking anyone he mounted his horse and told his generals to retreat to Jodhpur. He then left the field with his bodyguards. Some of the Rathor chieftains upon thinking that retreating could stain their family honor, as they were suspected for deceit, chose to stay and fight. When Maldeo's innocent generals J2 and Kamba found out what had happened, they were worried about how they would prove their innocence. When the king ordered a withdrawal, they overheard the chat between the village women worried about the Afghan army. One of the women said we need not worry as long as J2 and Kampu are here to protect us. This statement made the proud chieftains regain their honor. They decided that they would not leave the field even though they had just a few thousand men against an enemy force of 80,000 men and 40 cannons. Jeta said that the land we are leaving has been won and protected by our ancestors and we must not leave and flee. In the ensuing Battle of Samal, also known as the Battle of Giri Suman, Sher Shah emerged victoriously, but his army suffered heavy losses. The Rathor chieftains, with a few thousand cavalries, had decided to stay back and fight in order to prove their loyalty. Their cavalry charge pushed the Afghans back into their own army, causing the death of many. Some of the chieftains such as Jaya, Jaita, and Goa, Kampa, and others, came and attacked Sher Shah Zuri, and displayed exceeding valor. Part of the Afghan army was routed, and a certain Afghan came to Sher Shah and shouted in his native tongue mount for the infidels are routing your army. Sher Shah ordered his horse and was ready to retreat when news of the victory was brought to the effect that his men had slain Jaita and Kampa. When Sher Shah learned the valor and gallantry of Jaita and Kampa, Sher Shah is said to have commented that for a few grains of Bajra, millet, which is the main crop of Baron Marwar, I almost lost the entire kingdom of Hindustan. The aftermath after this victory, Sher Shah's general Kawaz Khan Marwat took possession of Jodhpur and occupied the territory of Marwar from Ajma to Mount Abu in 1544. But by July 1545 Maldeo reoccupied his lost territories.